Okay. We will start this service with silent reflection. Please close your eyes and steady your body to refocus yourself toward encountering Buddha Dharma. Please open your eyes and please join me Gasho placing your palms together and next slide please. We will meet Shin Buddhist life principles. Entrusting in the vow of the Buddha, calling out the Buddha's name, I will pass through the journey of life with strength and joy. Revealing the light of the Buddha, reflecting upon my imperfect self. I will strive to live a life of gratitude, following the teachings of the Buddha, designing the right path. I will share the true Dharma with all, rejoicing in the compassion of the Buddha, respecting and aiding all sentient beings. I will walk towards the welfare of society and the world. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida Buddha. Namo Amida I will start chanting Jusan, verse of praise from Ken Jodo Shinjitsu, Kyo Ryo Sho Monri. Thank 
chanting some
災事破来所、心念所上意とが国家楽安の古文神明税化師匠、音楽の日、気象所欲自保世尊知恵無下上領思想自我信用計量思思想苦毒中画量所Good morning, everyone. Yeah,、uh, My name is Yoshimichi Yoji. I'm a resident minister at Toronto Buddhist Church.、Uh, and today I would like to share my Dharma message.、Uh, could you please slide next page? Thank you. Please join me, Dasho, placing your palms together. Mida no Myogo, Tonai Tetsu, Shinji Makoto ni Uru Hitoa, Okunen no Shin, Tsune ni Ste, Utton Hose Ru Omoi Ari. Those who truly attain Shinji, as they utter Amida's name, being mindful of the Buddha always,、uh, always wish to respond to the great benevolence. Namo Amida Buts, 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 Namo Amida Buts. This Wasan tells us when we recite Nen Butsu, we truly attain Shinji. Interesting heart through Amida's great wisdom and compassion. The purpose of Buddha Dharma is to glow our higher wisdom and to lessen our self centered ego. And Amida Buddha accepts our bono, our blind passion, as it is because Amida's primal bow. And stayed in yet another way, our goal is. The attainment of Buddha food and the Jodo Shinshu teachings introduced us 
to the life of Nen Butsu and emancipation from the cycle of uh, life and death. So we can do this because of Amida Buddha's primal vow. And this teaching is significant for anyone seeking the way to real emancipation from the cycle of suffering. And I hope uh, you really enjoyed yesterday's uh, Miyagi Sensei's uh, workshop. I really enjoyed, so it was so meaningful. And uh, anyway, anyway, uh, did you see the moon last night? Uh, I know it looks different depending on where you live, but it was very beautiful in Toronto. And Google website, let me know, this coming Wednesday, it, it's going to be a full moon. Uh, next, yeah, oh, thank you. Uh, when Japanese people see the moon, they see the picture of rabbit pounding a mochi. Have you ever heard that? But in uh, South Africa, they see the picture of crocodile on the full moon. And in some Europe, Europe countries, they see a lady who reads book or big club. So when I ask the Toronto Buddhist Church member what they see on the full moon, uh, because when I checked Google, there was no answer. So I asked them. So one member said, she saw pizza <laughs> so, on the full moon. I really loved her views. So she must so hungry, and I, I was sure that she went to Pizza Nova or Domino Pizza after that Sunday service. <laughs> so people always make different ideas or opinions, even though we see the same things. And they love making uh, fictional stories from the ideas. So when I was a kid, I really believed there was love it on the full moon because <laughs> my parents told me. So, so uh, and the idea or stories make many events such as uh, Halloween or Christmas present from Santa Claus. Unfortunately, there was no Santa Claus in my family temple. My father was so strict Buddhist minister. So. <laughs> and today, I would like to introduce one event in Japan. The event is held in February this month. That is called Setsubun. Have you ever heard Setsubun? Yeah, next slide, please. Oh. Uh, the next one? Yes, Setsubun. Children throw, the, throw and scatter dried soybeans inside and outside their house while saying loudly, Oni wa soto, fuku wa uchi. That means get the oni out of the house. Come the fortune in the house. So oni means the Japanese demons. They have horns, so you can see the picture. They have a horns and wear the tiger print print. <laughs> so Japanese people believe that the event has a power of driver away oni who or that makes trouble in the house and they want to invite happiness or fortune in the house. So when I was a child, there was a nursery school in my uh, home temple. And in February, young Buddhist ministers at the temple who costumed and pretend to be oni. So then the nursery school student through their dried soybeans at the minister who dressed up as Oni. So I also threw the soybeans uh, when I was a child. But when I became a high school student, uh, I had to dress up as a Japanese demon, Oni, because my father asked me or my father ordered me, so I couldn't <laughs> say no. So I really enjoyed pretend, pretending to be a Oni, but uh, I must tell you that, that it was so painful sometimes because children not only threw their soybeans, but uh, 
threw their soybean at me, but also they punched and kicked so hard. So, it, you know, they, they don't mind I was a high school student or Buddhist minister. They see the Oni, so they want to get out Oni and punch and kick. And of course, I try to not be upset because they were just kids. But uh, I was not happy and I was so sore afterwards. So when I went back to the temple or my house, my father looked at my face and he said to me, you could not, uh, you could not drive away your demon from your spiritual mind. Uh, I didn't understand what he wanted to say. So I guess I had very angry look on my face like a uh, Oni when I, when he saw him, uh, when he saw me, when he saw me, I, my face was troubled, even though I took off my, I took off Oni's mask. So, and he also said, we human beings get angry very easily when someone does something bad to us. Even if that someone is a child or someone in our family who loves us. But uh, we should not forget the anger emotion is created by our own bono, blind, dis uh, blind passion or worldly desires. So what he was telling me was that a human beings, we always have a oni, like a Japanese demon in our spiritual mind. And in the teaching of the Buddha, uh, the inside of our oni is called the sandoku. Sandoku literally means three poisons. The three poisons are anger, greed, and ignorance. And Shin Nashon said, all sentient beings have the three, three poisons. Human are mortal beings filled with blind passion, bondo. And when we have the three poisons, we usually like, behave badly and become selfish. And we might make a distinction between bad and good without considering when something happens. And it's easy to hurt someone like Japanese demon Oni. But unfortunately, many people, including myself, tend to forget that we all have blind passion, bonno, or three poisons. And I believe that forgetting, forgetting, is more, forgetting is more of the problem than having the three poisons or blind passion. Because if we forget it, we tend to think we are always right and don't understand others. But if we know we all have the blind passion or the three poisons, we may be able to listen to others' words or accept it, even though they have different opinions. And when I recite the wasan uh, that I read at the beginning of this Dharma talk, uh, those who truly attain Shinji, as they utter Amida's name, being mindful of the Buddha always, wish to respond to the great benevolence. Oh, next slide, please, sorry. And that reminds me uh, that I have three poisons and bright passion because the purpose of the purpose of Buddha Dharma is to glow our higher wisdom and to lessen our self-centered ego. And when I studied Buddhism in Japan, my, one of my sensei let me know a very interesting story, the kanji. I think you can see the PowerPoint, watashi, that kanji means I or myself. And right kanji, uh, hotoke means Buddha. So I and Buddha. So uh, he told me if I remove, yes, so one, one poison. So now can you see the one line from Watashi is erased. And next one, uh, maybe anger to be 
uh, erase. So next slide, please. So one line gonna disappear. And ignore us. So please slide next. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's very similar, Hotoke and Watashi. So Watashi became a Hotoke Buddha. So it, it was very interesting. So uh, when I heard that, I thought it was hashtag deep. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed listening to the Dharma talk and realize we have Oni in our minds. But we know. I mean, the Buddha is always in the neighborhood that accept us just as we are. Even though I have only, I mean, the Buddha said, that's okay, that's okay, come to the pure end. That's why uh, Dharmakala Bodhisattva became a Amita Buddha for us. And I mean, the Buddha accept our blind passion through uh, Mita's great compassion. Or I could say that our blind passion Brand passion, therefore, I am accepted because of Amida's primal vow. Thank you very much for listening to my Dharma talk. Uh, please join me, Gasho, placing your palms together. Namo Amida Buts. 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 Thank you so much. And I'd like to ask Les Tanaka to, yeah, uh, he would say words of appreciation. Yes. Uh, uh, thank you, Sensei. Uh, uh, thank you for the uh, demo message. Uh, and thank you for telling us about the event of Setsuban. And reminding us again about um, uh, about the three poisons. Um, uh, very much appreciated. Uh, on behalf of the Toronto Buddhist Church, I'd really like to thank the organizers, uh, especially Minister Todd and uh, Reverend Ron. Um, this has been a truly uh, uh, enlightening um, and exciting uh, conference. And it's been a pleasure to share the stage with you and to be in such good company. Um, and so we would just like to express uh, thanks for this opportunity. And uh, I guess as we look forward, uh, hopefully when COVID clears, uh, I think we all look forward to uh, perhaps uh, having a meeting everyone in person. Uh, so thanks again for this opportunity. And I guess we'll turn it back to uh, the host. Thank you. <laughs>